So still and quiet on top of Pillar Rock the other day, you could use unshielded matches and hear the murmur of the becks nearly 2,000 feet below. And yet an hour later, on the higher summit of Pillar the Mountain, we could hardly stand against the southwesterly gale and barely converse without shouting. The gale presumably had been blowing all afternoon, but the rock, sheltered by the mountain wall, was a haven of quietude on a wild day of scurrying cloud on the highest tops and spraying becks in the dales. Not a good day for climbing with greasy rocks, but once on top of the rock, we could sprawl at our ease, look down the dark conifer carpet to the lake and the sea, see the upper crags in Birkness Coombe across the dale, lighted by a shaft of sunlight, and count the tarns on haystacks. Reaching the whaleback summit of Pillar was a double exhilaration. First, after the stillness, the buffeting gale, and second, the fantastic skyscape. The sea in the Wasdale Hills were blotted out by a gigantic curtain of ink-black cloud, topped by a level blanket of white cotton wool, and this blanket lighted from above by the westering sun, glowed with fire, a rim of gold beneath the blue vault of the sky. In a few moments we were enveloped in cloud and trotted down to the valley in clammy greyness and gathering dark, but we had had our brief reward. And later, splashing down flooded tracks to Wasdale Head, we had our second reward. A full moon, huge and shining, peeping over the shoulder of a great end and lighting our way through familiar evening smells and sounds of wood smoke and falling waters to the lights of the inn. 